So I'm out with young Fenella this morning, trying to get her a deer. And uh, when we first set out, we saw two or three munchak. But um, by the time we got down to the game crop that they were at, they were kind of moved off back into cover. So I'm out around the field margins looking for roe and fallow deer. Um, this time of the year, I'm starting to get a little bit of growth on the bramble and stuff out here. And um, they just are out of the way, they're not in the main woodland. And um, they just come and sit out of the way. So I'm hopefully trying to pick some up like that. Um, yesterday, one of the guys, Mickey that helps me was down here and uh, he saw three books together um, of, of varying ages so uh, I'm actually in that area trying to pick up on the recon he did so uh, but it's uh, quite a still morning uh, but very mild actually for the time of the year but uh, plenty to do it's only been out of light for about half an hour so uh, still plenty of time to catch up with some deer wish me luck Ago, so it's probably the same group that's back in town. deer will have been out very very early hence we are not early and it is seven o'clock and we haven't started yet we're setting off a little bit later this morning so it's probably half past seven there's actually a bit of sun braving itself over the hill uh, and it's probably one no more than one degree it's had a bit of snow overnight as you can see which is gorgeous isn't it and um I've, um, I haven't come out super early, it's light at about just before six, so we've left it an hour later. Um, because there was a full moon last night and a little bit of snow, so there's loads of light for the deer to be out feeding. And as we've arrived, we've just kind of thermaled over the valley uh, and I can see deer out to where we're going to head. So hopefully we'll be able to pick those up and um, try and get Fenella in for a shot. So. Uh, We've had a few trips out with Fenella and uh, haven't been successful. It's uh, early March, so it's really the back end of our cull. Uh, I could do with the, this is a farm that I've had for years. And um, after Christmas, it didn't seem to be a deer on the place. And, um, and then the lads that helped me were here last week and uh, my brother saw 20 odd deer from the position we're in. So, uh, but it's because the game crops are, um, uh, starting to shoot again as it's spring there's there's new food there there's new um, you know stuff of calorific value so that's what the deer are targeting in particular the road deer. so it would be great if we can get a doe or some kids or anything that's within season to be honest so uh, can you have a look 
Good to go, warm enough? Yeah. Yes. Right, brilliant. Let's go and have a look then. So we're going to pick our way around the hedges. Wind's coming this way, so it gives us a natural, natural route to take. And um, see if we can get some deer before breakfast. be the same ones have just come down here. So we've got a lot of options, but these look lazy Owen says them, them on the bank are the nearest to the car. <laughs> for us to extract and the ground is horrible. It's just Cotswold clay so it sticks to your boots. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, we're gonna go round here over that brow and use that tree as a cover and then try and get Fenella into a position take a shot, sort of like maybe 150, maybe 150. Are you comfortable with that? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the book's the one in the front, the young book's the one in the front. And he's just he's just moving out a shot. Can, can you see the doe that was above him? Yeah. So okay, we want, we want that doe, that's a good doe for us to take. But we need her to be sideways on. And I want you to just, it's about 180, so I don't want you to just shoot slightly high in the shoulder. Just a minute, I'm gonna get her attention, okay? Are you on her? Yeah. Okay. Just a minute. Hi! Let me scab me. Okay, can you see me? Yeah. Behind the shoulder. Great shot, Fenella. <laughs> great shot, Fenella. Green I know that's a bump, but great shot. That's a great shot. So let's get. Uh, yeah, I know. Sorry. Hang on, let's just watch her now because she went down really well. So there's more deer there than we thought. Look. Well done, well done. So that, <sighs> we've seen deer everywhere this morning, and um, well, all at a distance. They've been having a bit of a crazy snow moment, so we've had deer running round. We thought we'd winded them, we hadn't, and they came back over the bank. Then we looked back to where we'd came from, and then in this, like a game crop on this bank, and um, there there was two um, two heat signals in my thermal, and, and we had a look. And the first thing I saw, or the first thing I saw at a distance, was there was no white touche. So I thought, oh, book, never mind. Looked at the next one, it turned, and then I could see it was a doe, which was perfect for us. So um, we used the tree in front of us because we were in open ground on an open field as our bit of cover to get into it. But they, they started wandering away and they're behind. We hadn't got an open shot and they were about 180 metres, um, which is way within um, Fenella's capacity because I've seen her shoot on the range over the four year, four or five years she's been um, involved with us and um, so set her up on the sticks uh, got her breathing right and I just stopped the doe because it was not seen us but I just wanted to turn it um, to get the shoulder shot and she shot slightly higher in the shoulder and um, absolutely great reaction from the deer just sank it on the spot um, I'm using uh, one of the um, 150 grain SSTs today I think yeah yeah and 150 grain SSTs um, it's for our own consumption. You're going to, Fenella's a, a butcher, so uh, she's going to skin it and uh, get it ready for us, and then we're going to hopefully cook it on the Traeger in a few weeks' time when it's matured, yeah? Yeah. Big cheesy grin on <laughs> your face, well done. So now, what we're going to do is we've got, to, we've got to actually go out wide. It's very wet down that bottom, and we've got to get over a little bridge and get up to it and go and see what we've got. But that's great for extraction. We've probably got a 300, 300 yard carry back to the track. Awesome morning. And it hasn't really, we've only been out for an hour, uh, and we've seen so many deer, so perhaps we just need to sort this one out and go and have a look for some more, mm -hmm. eh? That's 
tell of a distance, that is. Well done. Thank you. Hey, I know it's only a rodo kid, but how fantastic for you. Oh, great start. Come and have a look at this for now. In fact, oh, hang on, which side are you going? I don't know. Just... <sighs> so, we spotted it, we stalked it, proper stalking, and um, just used that tree behind us to hide behind. But what a shot, what Thank a you. shot. I'm so <laughs> pleased for you, well done. So uh, this is, as I said from over there, a young rodo fawn kid, last year's youngster. You can see that. It's got quite a short nose and it was with a brother who ran off. He got just little velvety spikes just above his head for his first what's name. And um, well, well, the shot was awesome, wasn't it? Did you, uh, you put it, this is the exit hole, hence there's a, you know, uh, this size exit hole on the shoulder, but that's, um, I won't say rib to rib, it's on the shoulder, but um, it'll certainly be perfect for you to, um, to process for us for us doing some cooking with. Uh, what are your thoughts? <laughs> no? You've got your level one coming up, right? Okay, so this, let's go through your level one. This is a, a perfect cull animal for us. Um, in some ways, I, you know, it's March, heavily pregnant does. I've shot lots of them, but. I'm getting of an age now, I'd rather take a doe. You know, a good mature kid, she's uh, probably a couple of kilos lighter in weight than a mother. Uh, where a mother is, I don't know, but um, perhaps we've shot her earlier on in the year, but she's a good size, look at her, in a thick winter coat, and um, yeah, perfect for what we wanted. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, just clean her out, and then we're gonna get her back to the car and get her back to the chiller. So, uh, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah? Good bullet reaction from the 308. Bosch didn't run anywhere. So that distance, the bullet was put everything it got into it. That's why it just crumpled her on the spot, which was, uh, she never knew anything about it. You know what I mean? Which is what we want. So it's a week after we were out stalking in the Cotswolds. Weather's changed completely now. It's a lot milder. And uh, anyway, I've just called in to see Fenella, who works within a father's butchery business. And she was just whipping the skin off this, uh, Young road that we shot last week. What a lovely carcass it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's eh? lovely. Bit of damage from the old 308, but that's my fault saying shoot it high in the shoulder. You can see the uh, where the bullet's got in, and you can see the damage it's caused, but we're really looking at the uh, back straps and these nice uh, haunches and the tenderloins inside. And we've got an idea to joint it now, cut it down into some barbecue sized joints and get it on our Traeger. Mm -hmm. And, and hopefully we'll all have a nice little uh, barbecue feast together. What do you think? Lovely. Nice if I leave it on the... Oh. Well, this story started about 10 days ago when Fenella came out uh, stalking with us and shot her a road though, which you will have seen on film. And then she brought it back, skinned it off and uh, butchered it. And it's been hanging. And now we're gonna do the best bit, which is we're gonna eat it. So we're back to her dad's and he's got a Traeger grill the same as ours. And we're going to just do these back straps very simply. Look at the color of them, Fenella. They look gorgeous, don't they? Um, with the Traeger rub, so we've got a coffee rub which is like a coffee with black pepper and molasses, which is quite a sweet one. And then we've got the beef rub, which uh, is, um, um, it's got black pepper and chili in it. So a little bit sharp, a little bit more powerful. So we're gonna get two different f taste experiences on beautiful, fresh, young uh, roe loin that we're gonna look forward to. What? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I know I've been gassing on. Have you enjoyed your um, hunting? cleaning and about to eating experience. Yeah, definitely, especially when we've eaten it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yes. Well, we're gonna see, we're gonna cook it on the Traeger, uh, which will give it like a nice smoky flavor. And um, so we're gonna cook it slowly and then reverse sear it, give crisp it all up. And, uh, and then hopefully the, um, the wonderful taste of the meat and these spices and the wood burning pellets will give us an awesome flavor and a very nice dinner. Well, I love your new Traeger. Thank I've you. got the, um, Ironwood 850 and this is the Pro 575 which is uh, slightly smaller, I haven't got a chimney or anything but you've got this lovely um, lovely shelf on it so let's slip those into there, yeah we're gonna, that's it, ooh 
Listen to them sizzle. Listen to them sizzle. That's the job eight. Let's get the eight back up. Ooh, look at that. Awesome. Here we go. The probe's just told us it's running on 65, 66 degrees, which is just where we decided we want to be Ooh, with it. Don't we love technology? I know, fantastic. <laughs> we can watch it cooking from yeah. in the warm. Oh my God. Sauce is powerful. Get it down, yeah. Oh, vanilla. Oh, they're really good. Get it down, yeah. We haven't even made the table. <laughs> oh. What's really nice about this, mm. it's just not complicated, is it? I've eaten the best poo to me off a young row. I'm speaking with my mouth, so my mum will tell me off. You're having yeah, we're having some. And we've um, let it hang for 10 days. Mm. Vanilla was a whiz mm. with a knife. We bossed it in the tray and cooked it low and slow for 50 minutes. Ramped it up. Oh. And we're not chefs, you're a butcher. Mm. I'm not quite sure what I am. <laughs> that, sauce is mm. really good. Mm. that sauce is amazing. Mm.